What's up guys, Austin from Rock Bottom Cats here. In this video, I'm gonna take you along on a bank fishing trip in the freezing cold. I've got some new camping gear I've been wanting to try, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. And it's supposed to get down to 22 degrees. The new sleeping bag I've got is rated for 20 degrees. So I wanted to see how that would do without using the buddy heat or anything in the tent. And uh, obviously I'm doing this intro video the next morning, so I made it through the night. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. As far as my setup out here, it's, uh, it's just a stretch here along the river, really nothing all that special. We do have a, a small hole right out here in front of us and we're just kind of fishing around it. Uh, last week, the water temperatures actually got all the way back up close to 50 degrees and then we had this little cold snap come through. Uh, the day before, it dropped down to I think 44, 45 degrees out here. Then obviously last night getting down to 22, um, probably brought the water temps on down a good bit more. So falling uh, water temps but rising water levels so kind of a i guess maybe a trade-off there i don't know as you'll see it whatever it was it paid off uh, i got a couple decent fish and uh mitchell had a great trip when he showed up i couldn't catch anything else but uh at least somebody was catching fish either way we'll go over the bait i'm using and we'll go over the gear i'm using as well that i mentioned and uh you guys stick around and let's get started All right, so for the first thing I've got here, this is a night cat tent. It's a little two-person sleeper tent. Um, I don't have the specs here. If this turns into a review video, I'll end up doing a uh, one in the uh, at the house, and I'll talk about it a little bit in detail. But I think it weighs like four, four and a half pounds. Pretty lightweight. Um, I've set it up one time, so we're gonna see how it does tonight as far as me setting it up out here. But it was actually pretty big for as, as compact as this thing is. So it's easy to put in a backpack and to bring out here camping. So we're gonna try this out. There we go. I've also got this little inflatable mattress. It is tiny. They say it gets as small as a water bottle. And as you can see, it's pretty small. Um, I blew it up at the house. It was easy to blow up and it was actually pretty comfortable and uh, deflating it was pretty quick too. So we're gonna actually sleep on this guy tonight, see how it does. And then this bad boy right here, this is a Teton sleeping bag. I don't know if y'all can really see it or not in there, probably not, but either way, it's a 20 degree mummy sleeping bag. Um, we're gonna put it to the test for 20 degrees tonight. I did bring some warm clothes. I've got a buddy heater and other stuff just in case I actually get cold, but I'm gonna try to let this stuff do its job and see how it works. All right, as y'all can see, I've got my tarp set up out here. I'll, uh, hopefully that'll keep me from poking too many holes in my new tent. This ground's kind of prickly. There's a few briars and stuff, clean it up best I could, but Let's get this unwrapped, start setting it up. tent set up let's uh get some stuff in there and put this little rain fly on and uh we'll be all done that really wasn't that bad it took me on a little five six seven minutes maybe so let's get our gear in all right so first things first let's get this little mattress opened up but it didn't take but a couple breaths and uh, it's blown up. There's the mummy sleeping bag. So we'll get that in here. We'll have our sleeping stuff in. I just gotta drag some gear up here and there's a, say it's a two person tent so I got enough room to put looks like all my junk to keep it dry tonight. So, do that, then uh, we're gonna start fishing and uh, fingers crossed we're gonna catch something. All right guys, bait tonight. I'm gonna have crappy and bluegill out here. I've got some frozen crappy that you see right here. Then I've got a couple of live crappy and several live bluegills down here in the bucket and one that doesn't look like he's doing well. So we'll go ahead and get him out. 
and oh I'm about to fall guys <laughs> and what I'm gonna be doing is I'll cut the bluegill up crappy they're gonna actually be filleted I can't cut the head or tail off of them because there is a size limit so I have to be able to measure them but other than that I can use them as bait so let's get this bait started got one rod in the water y'all. Trying to get these rigs put together but I thought you know what I need to at least get one rod out there. Hey right, guys, first fish. Ugh. Nice, chunky little blue cat. It's a good fish to start the night with. Came on a piece of crappy. Oh man, <coughs> got choked up. Came on a piece of crappy fillet. There y'all go. Good, healthy fish. I'll get a picture and we'll put him back in the water. All right. I've only got one line in the water. I've been trying to get rigged up and I haven't been able to get any lines out but this one. I had a, I caught a 27 pound blue in the first five minutes of fishing. And then while well, I'm trying to rig up, and then now this little guy here.
All right, guys, another, quit it, another good one. If he'll straighten out, I'll let y'all see him. <laughs> he does not want to straighten out. All right, there you go, oh, oh. almost. They are wound up. There we go, let y'all check him out. Good fish, I'll back up just a little bit. There we go. Another one on crappy, we'll get him back in the water. Bait back up, oh. Oh, hey. Yeah, you got fish, man. Hey, guess what it's on? What's it on? Left. Oh, lucky rod. <laughs> All right, well, you work in there working now. Actually, no, there's that. Oh. Good deal, man. Get him in. That'll be fish number three. And um, I'll have the video. I'll have three fish. We go home. <laughs> All right guys, let's try out this uh, tent and this new sleeping bag. I'm not using the buddy heater, it's gonna be 22 degrees as I mentioned earlier. We're gonna see if I can make it all night uh, without freezing to death. So worst case, I'll get out and get the buddy heater. But I am gonna leave my bibs on and this pullover, but got the, uh, got the tent out, it's set up. Got my new mattress set up. Let's see what happens. Alright guys, so I guess I'm probably going to include this in the main video, um, depending on how long this video runs, um, so we will see. But cold weather gear, definitely uh, definitely worked out great. Um, I really didn't get cold last night. About 5 o'clock this morning, I started feeling a little bit of chill in my feet, and that's because I had these little thin socks on. Uh, that didn't do me any favors but other than that i didn't need the buddy heater last night and uh, i almost got hot honestly um, now i wouldn't be sleeping in my birthday suit you would still get cold in this sleeping bag but if you dress in some warm clothes and climb in there you will be fine if it's 20 degrees or more i can uh i can vouch for the sleeping bag working uh tent worked pretty good too so looking forward to taking in on some backpacking trips i know i mentioned i was going to do a little cooking on my new uh, camp stove uh, that didn't happen it got cold and uh, i said the heck with it i'm not not gonna worry with it i've got my gas stove we're gonna use that but we'll try that again in another video but overall definitely like the gear oh in the mattress um i don't know if i've mentioned in my past videos but i usually just sleep directly on the ground or i'll throw a little blanket down that mattress uh for as tiny as it was as i showed y'all that thing was great so definitely i uh, recommend checking that out it's pretty affordable i think it's like 20 bucks maybe give or take and uh super compact and it made a huge difference so uh definitely a, a great great little investment if uh, you're looking a mattress so that's my thoughts on uh the gear worked out great now we'll get back to the rest of the video you got a fish you still there yep. heck yeah I got the wrong lens on for video. I'll come land them in a second. 
I'm just getting what I can with this camera. They feel very big. Both in. Now that's a kitty cat. All right, Mitchell done got him another one. Another pretty blue on a piece of piece of cut crappy. I'm gonna grab a quick little picture, then uh, we'll get him back in the water. We'll see y'all guys in a little bit. Back in the water he goes. I know I didn't get any release videos last night, but it was cold, but and I didn't feel like messing with it. But since it's sunny and we had the camera out, we'll get a picture of him swimming off. And he gone. Got a fish, or you got a snag? Leave. Are you serious? Leave it to Mitchell, guys. I can't even see him on camera. But he done caught him another, another fish. Right when breakfast gets ready. Is he in the tree? Well. Go get him, man. Is he very big? Or you can just go get them. He's gonna get off. Well, at least I got to eat a little bit of food. All right. Catfish rescue. That's a nice blue. That. You got another 20 pluser, I bet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, guys. We got that done. That's nice blue, man. That's a real nice blue. We'll get a. We'll get some pictures. I kind of feel like I should be refreshing my bait and actually trying because you put me to shame. That's your seventh fish and I ain't caught nothing since you got here. <laughs> ah, it's all good though. There he is guys. That's a great blue right there. Mitchell's had a good trip, especially a wintertime trip for this area. So 
Another one I think on cut, cut crappy. We'll get a couple pictures and we'll get a release on them. Pretty, pretty fish. Pretty fat fish. Let me get back around here so y'all can see his gut. That gut on that thing. Heck yeah. All right, back he goes. Pretty blue, man. Pretty, pretty blue. Alright, bye bye. You got a fish. You still there? Heck yeah. I got the wrong lens on for video. I'll come land them in a second. I'm just getting what I can with this camera. They feel very big. Both in. Nice, no, a kitty cat. Hey right, guys, Mitchell done caught him another one. Another pretty blue. We'll get a quick picture of them, and uh, we'll get them back in the water. We're just trying to pack up and leave, and uh, I'm gonna get yelled at because I ain't home now, but either way. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this trip. As y'all saw, uh, wasn't a bad trip out here for a wintertime fishing trip. Got some good fish on the bank, got to hang out, got to eat some good food, so no complaints here. And as y'all saw, uh, I made it through the night with my uh, new cold weather gear, which um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna do a video just on that alone or if I'll do some more talking points here through this video. So uh, bear with me. I'm not sure what direction I'm taking this at this point. So you'll know if you've already watched the whole video. But either way, I appreciate all you guys sticking around and uh, watching the video. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you wanna see more, or if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you wanna see more, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you're on social media, check out Rock Bottom Cats on Instagram and Facebook. And if you're looking for a great catfishing group to join, check out NC Catfishing. We're over 12,000 members, a lot of great people in this group, a lot of great information, and uh, make sure you jump over and check that out. As I mentioned, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.